What is this? What? What is? What, what is this? All right, there you guys. We're back at Yogi Instinct, and we have this awesome huge box now, and the small little cutter. I know I need a cutter right now, and I need the bigger one. I don't like the knife I got because it doesn't really work. I mean, come on. I have that great knife, but it doesn't really work. And look at this small little guy, the little blade left, yet it can make a mark on there. And yes, it is still my lucky charm as well. I mean, look at it, how small of an effort and then how big of the box. That's how exactly a cutter should be like. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Alright, so I've kept everything aside and I want to, you know, check everything up one by one. So why not begin with the mini things? First, we do get Salamoleon. Now, this is the action figure came in pieces and probably I gotta have to decide where it, where it goes exactly where because every other, you know, anime figure or action figure from Beyblade Purse or you know, maybe even from anybody else would be easy. But Salamoleon? That's not easy. That's only like a couple of difficult parts and I don't even know where the head is. Maybe it's, you know, uh, there or maybe there. Well, anyways. Now, we do get some little Beyblades here. and But before that, I want to show you this. This is a crazy little, you know, finger grip. Alright, so this crazy little finger grip, this is based on Dronzer. Now, if you see, that fits my finger perfectly because it's an official, you know, product. I mean... Look at it. it, it's just stretchy, it saves your fingers from those string pulls whenever you do that. You gotta have it, you know, must for a blader to have it there. Anyways, first the small bay, it looks like a star, you know, like, it reminds me of Pokemon Sun and Moon. There was a bay, you know, there's a Pokemon on that, I think. Uh, the Sun one shape, I believe, maybe, well, I don't know. And what else? We get this one here, you know, it's a little crazy one, actually. Uh, it kind of looks like, you know, uh, Pegasus, maybe? But it isn't Pegasus, honestly, because Pegasus has, like, you know, sharp blades. And this one here, right, that's exactly like a Dragoon, but, you know, the base is completely different with the color scheme and everything. And, you know, again, there is one more Pegasus-looking thing, but it's black this time. And this one here, it kind of reminds me of Dragoon 2. And I'm kind of loving these designs, honestly, because they've got lad. Definitely, they've got lad. And here, the electric type. It looks like Electa Buzz. Remember Pokemon Electa Buzz? And yes, this is what comes up. You know, broken stuff. Whenever you order anything from Japan, it's it's gotta be something broken. And you do get a small miniaturized launcher and a winder there too. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Uh, with these type of ones, like, I mean, this is like just hand spin things, and it's made of rubber, up on, up on that, and there we go, actual one, Dronzer F, let's give that a try, and I'm not sure if it fit, ah, yeah, it didn't fit, let me try that again, and I think it would go here, and then I have to click it or something, yeah, like that, maybe, now let's try, not much of a stamina though, but yeah, it can, you know, run into multiple faces and I'm so I'm gonna get the stadium for this one here, this mini HRI stadium and those will absolutely look cool. And here we go, Salamoleon's head, we finally find it. Anyways, another launcher, probably. And we do get, you know, Dronzer V here, a mini HRI version. They kind of replicated the tip, but it's not interchangeable here. Well, it's recommendable they keep the, you know, uh, everything else the same. And these small bays are actually going to help us, you know, maybe in future to when the bays don't develop or something like that. Well, here comes the main part now. We do get Dragoon V2. Best part, it's got the Magne weight disc. It's got the guards for those weight discs. It's completely mint. 
and the stickers look so dang awesome. Next up, we do get here Trigger Wii. And how can we have a lot and not have Trigger? Honestly, gotta have that. Anyways, next up, we do get Drusil S. I think I have so many of Drusil S now, maybe like four or five. And this one doesn't even have the bald anymore here, I think. And we do get Night Trigger, which is a green version. And I do like the green on here because look at that. It's, it's kind of looking awesome. And we get the next one here. Flash Leopard. <laughs> you just saw the miniature version. And this one got like Kid Dragoon on it. But maybe I think I do have the right bitch here for this one. And I can go, you know, go ahead and change that right away. Okay, next up. We do get another Volborg 2. And I think I have a couple of those now. So maybe three or four Volborg 2s. Got tip is awesome. Do you remember Dark Raghav? He just won a tournament because of that. Anyways, we got Drusil MBD, but surprisingly not the best base it should have. I mean, that's not even stock, honestly, but it resembles it, kind of. There we have Metal Tronzer. Yeah, perfect good condition. It's missing one sticker, I believe, just hardly one. Anyways, Wolborg 2 again. And this is the second one of the lot, man. This is cool. So I think I would have five by now. Viborg. Okay. Don't even count how many of these I have. I probably want to give one of these away. Because I'm just getting too many of these now. So maybe a sixth Viborg I have. And that's the start of the product. That's Red Dronzer F. It looks awesome. I mean, look at the red tip and everything else. You know, I would love if this had a green tip. I would probably change that for a black Dronzer and make it look like Hasbro. But no, this is pure, pure, fiery red. Yeah, not pure, pure. And there's a normal version, blue. And the red tip kind of looks good on that, like it's different. They should have made a green tip for that one, I guess. Or maybe golden, who knows. Anyways, this is Hayate. Hayate comes with, you know, an action figure. We don't have that here, but the bay is awesome. It has a completely different looking part at the bottom so that can fit into the action figure and this is how it spins actually yeah you can see like that it, that's how it's it's kind of a over scraper but you can use the attack ring and make it amazing you know attack combos because the attack points on this bay is just tremendous anyways the disc on there that you can see this is the black area uh, by the way and uh, the disc on there that's really dope because it's like free spinning and it can fit any plastic generation bay and it's cool and heavy and everything else above all it's like completely circular so more stamina you got the black and both the white as well so that's kind of it and speaking of black we do get the black galsley as well because this one kind of looks like good ones actually uh i don't like galsley's honestly because i have like so many of them now but the black one doesn't hurt doesn't hurt and we do get this one here, uh, here, which is, I believe, a fake one because the sub AR is already built into the AR, so this is going to be fun. I'm probably going to have some fun battles with that. Anyways, uh, fun battle. Speaking of battles, I'm going to upload one. Anyways, Dragoon Wii. Yeah, the stickers aren't, uh, you know, prime, but they're kind of good. They're not really bad ones and i already have a sticker sheet so i'll probably put that on and i'll just be merry with that master dragoon the white version i had the black one the mustard one didn't have the og colors but speaking of which we do have the og colors now so kind of worth it no anyways there uh we do get trigger and this is the ultimate hyper edition uh stickers i think that's that's what they call the core core edition stickers and another Drasil, Master Drasil. And this one doesn't hurt because the attack ring is super defensive. And it's it's a really good combo as well. Now here's the artwork. I mean, some two-year-old kid probably did this. I mean, look at it. I mean, he just kind of straight up destroyed the bay. The white version of this galaxy would have looked so cool, really. Just awesome. I mean, you know, if it had been white. I'd probably try removing that color. And here's uh, Dragoon F. And this one here is also mint. 
it's just got a black sticker thing on there but it's completely mint and I think it has double stickers also okay what do we get more we get another Dragoon F and this one is even than more mint because it's got eyes as well there I believe all right and what do we get we get dark dragoon remember that battle movie that fears battle beyblade movie yes this comes exactly from there so the uh, antagonist whoever was there or the evil person who was transformed into an evil person not an evil person actually had this beyblade A copy of the dragoon you know the uh, ancient beast basically and this one is kind of very rare and there we go trigger f again the strongest fighting trigger spirit yeah it hits like a tank it doesn't have that much of a tip but when it hits it's gonna be a crazy battle for you anyways let's see what do we get next yeah uh this is trigger ref just trigger ref all right we do get galsley but this is the uh, koro koro green version right so they released this green version uh to make it the crazy monkey jungle version i think something they call it uh yeah jungle version i think they called it and it kind of looks awesome because of its transparency in there and it's a great part of the edition i have the uriel as well now but there's one sad part of this uriel i mean look at the bit sticker you know bit sticker it just looks awesome but when you turn it upside down yeah the base is kind of broken anyways that kills it almost dead right away we do get galleon and the ar my god awesome the pink and the yellow filled right in and what else do we get another flash leopard well a flash leopard i think i have three or four as well now so i'll probably put them on sale from here and what else do we get grifolion i think i have a couple of these as well so these ones look awesome as well all right so grifolion yeah grifolion wow let's see what do we get next we get dragoon storm the uh koro koro meki light silver edition well it looks stunning and i think i have the second one here now but i mean meki versions never heard they look awesome they do look awesome and flash leopard 2 finally we're back uh the stickers are all there so that's that and uh, this tip you know it's not a very good base but the attack ring i'm kind of in love with that always here's uh drusil f yeah perfect we do have both the balls the color is nice it's not damaged from anywhere so that's that and we do get gaia dragoon almost prime condition i think one, two stickers are wearing off right now but it does have the golden uh weight disc here and that's kind of awesome so let's see what do we get uh we do get seaborg 2 it's already in a mint condition too and it's already a lot of base so here's dronzer v dronzer v looks stunning because the blade change it spins it has lad you can make it you know stamina or attack whichever way you want to go ahead about that and i think it's kind of protruding a little bit more than it's supposed to but i'm not really sure it's should i i'm not sure if it's supposed to be that much protruding but who knows maybe maybe it's like that i think it's like that i think i'm just overthinking maybe who knows anyways we do get silver dragoon v and that's stunning i mean people like normal versions but i like this one more honestly and then there's the you know red version too Drusil V, finally a V back in our collection. I think I sold all of the Vs I had, and this is the one I'm just left with now. And there you go, Trigal. I think I have these two as well. I'm probably gonna put these in the shop. And by the way, guys, do make sure you check my Instagram. I do have a link in right up here. So uh, you know, you do check out my shop. I'll put everything else there. Then uh, you know, you wanna buy something from there, you can definitely do that and there we go trigger s ultimate blue edition burn it that looks stunning it's the transparent version and it does look awesome you can't deny that because if you do you're probably mad ain't it 
and another dragoon dark dragoon uh not very good condition mid stickers are a bit missing i think but all the parts are there so there's that and you do get wing a uh, uh, defensor i think wing defensor yeah wing defensor but the blade base is kind of like the bearing stinger so yeah there's that and what else do we get we get master or sorry kid dronzer with the dronzer picture on there and it's an attack type so there's that uh, these kid versions you know and the master versions are almost the same the, the AR is the same it's just a bit sticker that was different all there together so there was that yeah and the best part is you know I do get a couple of launchers on there but you wouldn't want to see that Ooh, that's boring what's not boring is the grip I do get a sniper grip and it's kind of moving all the way 360 now which isn't supposed to but I think that's that and oh that's nice where do I watch it from because if the laser is pointing that way how am I supposed to know maybe just a bit of chance and there you have it Kai's easy grip with the support part on it this is what Kai was using every time when he used to battle and pull his things out of style and he'll all do all the swag dance kind of thing and uh, kind of feels nice honestly you know seeing something from the anime making it come true there's that dronzer sticker you would want so kinda need it yeah the support bar looks awesome I haven't tried removing it as of yet but I probably will and there's one more thing how about I add a special part onto it yep you've got that right I've got the metal frame on it as well to make it sturdy to make it you know, look good and plus at the same time give it a little more weight so it fits exactly right in there you can't put it on every launcher and the metal weight has a picture of Drigger so this was entirely made for Drigger's launcher setup and you can put it on the Drigger launchers too and it does look stunning I mean it's after all Drigger and it's got that extra weight it's got the support part it's got the easy grip it probably just needs a good winder and you're all set all right now there's one crazy little thing I'm not really sure of we do get a scope like you know an actual scope like you know you can go ahead and watch things but what is surprising is there's no way to watch it I mean there's that what is that what what is what exactly is this thing I mean where do I even watch there's nothing here literally nothing even if I turn it on what's it gonna do it's gonna project a light but where from and what does that contain what does that even have I'm not really sure guys how it's supposed to work and where it even go in the you know connection points and whatnot where the launcher setup is but it's just kind of you know dead giveaway kind of things anyways moving on to the next we do get uh, you know this with the launcher and I believe I can fit it somewhere somehow but that's a thing for another video all together or maybe off video something like that will look just awesome anyways guys so let me just pull everything back and you know range everything back because oh yes I do want to show you this one uh, we do get the normal wind you know, winders but this crazy little winder that looks like a jellyfish that looks like a T so we do get that so I think this was it for today guys I hope you really like the base in here and if you do I mean these are really crazy parts so let me first assemble them all together all right so now that everything is all assembled that is for today guys you gotta have to make sure you hit the like button and do put your comments in there which one is a favorite Beyblade among all these favorite Beyblades so do comment that in below just name the Beyblade that you really like and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe till then Yogi Instinct out